So this question starts off by telling us that y equals 6x plus 18. The question goes on to say one of the equations in a system of two linear equations is given. So I'm going to just rewrite this, knowing that I need to have another equation underneath it for our system. The system has no solution. All right, so how does that even happen? A system will have no solution when both x and y cross out. Right? And there's no way around it. Nothing you can do to make them not cross out. So let's see, which equation could be the second equation in the system? Well, looks like they tried to move things around a little bit, but you know, really um, choice A, if I were to isolate Y by adding 6X to both sides, would literally become Y equals 6X plus 18. And yeah, right? I don't think that, uh, oh, let me, I'm sorry. X and Y cross out and, very important and. More space. Remaining is not true. So you'll see what I mean in a second. Here, if I were to subtract the bottom from the top equation, I would get crossed out, so zero, equals crossed out, so zero, and crossed out, so zero. But zero does equal zero. So this is not an example of no solution. This is actually an example of infinitely many solutions, right? Like, obviously, if we graphed these two equations, they'd be the exact same line. So we'd have infinitely many solutions. So choice A is incorrect. Let me give myself some more space here by deleting this. Um, okay, so how about choice B? Well, choice B, if I added 6x to both sides, would be y equals 6x plus 22. I like this one. So if I have my original y equals 6x plus 18, and choice B's possibility, which is y equals 6x plus 22, now when I subtract the bottom equation from the top, I get a cross out in y, I get a cross out in x, but what I'm left with here is 0 equals negative 4, and that is not true, right? That is not true. Therefore, choice B has to be the right answer. Why? Because x and y crossed out, and the remaining was not true. And just to show you what would happen with choice C and why choice C is not the correct answer, um, choice C would become y equals 12x plus 36. So when I combine that with the original equation, y equals 6x plus 18, and y equals 12x plus 36. Um, I would, what could I do? I, you know, I'd have to do something. I can decide to eliminate y's, so that would be gone by subtraction, and I'd be left with 0 equals negative 6x minus 18, which would give me a 6x equals negative 18. Obviously, this is not crossing out, right? I'm going to get x equals negative 3. So I did not get, a get something to cross out there. No matter what you do to this, you're not going to get both x and y to cross out simultaneously. So that's the reason why b is the right answer. Again, the, the hint here, the key here was system has no, no solutions. If you didn't know this already, please do put it in your notes and make sure to memorize. A system having no solutions means... X and Y will cross out, and the remaining is not true.